Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. I am Oji Akbi. Joining me now is our in-house analyst, Ikenna Kingsley, with stories trending around the world. Hi, Ikenna. Hey, Oji, how are you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. It's Friday, so yeah, you know, that good, Friday, that, that good feeling. Friday, Friday, yeah. For the weekend. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> it's going to be fun, right, tonight? Definitely. Where are you going tonight, Ikenna? Okay, tonight first I'll just go home and sleep. I'm tired. Oh. Yeah, I'm already tired, like, you know. So no know. Friday grooves for you tonight? Nah, I'll leave it till tomorrow, Saturday then, yeah. Maybe me and the boys go out, chill. Maybe catch a couple of movies, take Nkwabi and Pepper Soup. Nkwabi and Pepper Soup. That sounds like fun. I haven't had yeah. that in a while. Well, I you think need to I try might it. put it's that on dope. my agenda. Okay. Yeah, you should, you should. So it's what's cool. trending? Tell me. <laughs> okay, so pop star Rihanna is set to drop an anticipated dancehall album. The singer and her label, Rock Nation, have been collecting records currently reaching 500 materials all year round for the 10-track album devoted to exploring the singer's Caribbean roots, but they are only choosing 10 records. Wow. Producers and songwriters on the anticipated album include Super Dupes, RCT, Stephen the Genius, McGregor, Ricky Blaze, Cranium, just to mention a few. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 500 hmm? songs? Just to, 500 choose materials just to choose 10. Ten. Okay. And yeah, so they, all the producers and songwriters are like, you know, they have um, like links to all the Caribbean songs. Yes. They've worked with likes of Egyptian, Vibes Cartel. So, oh, I love Egyptian, by yeah. the way. Yeah. So they're trying to like explore her Caribbean roots. So yeah, 500 materials, a lot of materials to collect for just 10 songs. But yeah, that shows you the level of hard work which they. Rihanna is a hard worker. I always like feel like she, she could become the next Beyonce. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I did just say that out loud. I don't but know, you know, I, don't I know. Yeah, she's close. For me, I'm, I'm a Rihanna fan, so I've always loved her since okay, I was a child. Okay, so, really? I, I mean, I still do like Beyonce for all the feminism stuff that she uh -huh. does, but I think Rihanna is so. But I don't think the hip. Beehives would like agree with you saying that Rihanna would, you know, come to um, par with Beyonce. I don't yeah. know, but yeah, she's that good. Oh, she's too. such a hard worker since she was like, what, 19 years old? Yeah, she's, yeah. she's good. She's great. And yeah, let's see how the future goes. And yeah. I can't wait could. to hear it. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what next. What do okay, you so next? Miley Cyrus has reportedly called off her wedding to Liam Hemsworth over their clash believed to be disagreement on when to start a family. 25-year-old American pop star is thought to have ended her relationship with the Australian actor after realizing that she wasn't ready for marriage and parenthood. The couple announced their engagement for the first time in 2012, but split in 13, reigniting their romance two years later in 2015. According to reports, Miley was not ready to walk down the aisle, but Liam was ready to settle. Okay. Mm. Now, mm, yeah. First of all, um, I just want to say something real quick. Love, <laughs> he's available. <laughs> yeah, he's available, but you know they split and they came back in 13. Yes, so it's, who it knows? It feels like it always happens. With yeah, so maybe two. she would go home, think about it, and if, maybe if she makes up her mind that, yeah, okay, you know, let me just give this a go, they could come back together. But I don't know, like, I really love both of them together, you know, um, Thor. The mighty Thor, that's Liam. <laughs> I don't know how you can split with such a man. You know, girls drool about this guy every I day. Know, mm. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, the ripped abs and all well, that. Well, it must be just the thing with the girls hitting up his phone all the time. I'm sure that's what it is. Nah, it's nah, it's not. not He's to... ready to settle with Miley. I doubt it. That's what they say. But I mean, nah, nah, nah. I it... can tell you how many women are like lining up to meet you. Talk him. Like, you talk for... like you know him in person. Like you guys just, and yeah. He We're tells buddies. Did I tell you that before? <laughs> Nah, but I, I, well, I'm just excited for my female ladies out there who love him, so... So, yeah, um, I'm trying to say that he can now, like, have a shot at... Of course, why not? Nah, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm not happy that they split, because I like both of them together. You Miley like for, both of them, or you like Miley? I like both of them together, oh, not just okay. Miley. I oh, love okay. Liam Hemsworth, oh, okay. he's, like, a great actor, and, yeah, a fine boy, and... Uh, but the thing is, I feel like he's always been the one that has kept her sane. I hope mm -hmm. she doesn't go out and just do more crazy stuff like she did the last mm -hmm. time they broke up, remember well, that? Well, let's, let's just watch and see, yeah. but... If I'm going to wish them well, I'll wish they come back together. Yeah. And well, maybe okay, get married. Okay, 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 now that's fine. I hope they come back together. <laughs> Tell me what's next. <laughs> okay, so French ambassador writes Trevor Noah a disapproving letter for saying Africa won the World Cup, given majority of the French players have African roots. On Daily Show, Trevor Noah celebrates France's World Cup victory over Croatia, celebrating African players on the French team and joking that Africa won the World Cup. Since then, some have dubbed Trevor's comments as racist and French ambassador to the U.S., Gerard Arrod, even wrote him a letter pretty much saying, Nabu, our team is French. Go somewhere with them African comment. Okay. Now, okay, yes, now. I remember this story. You know this when... Is what we're talking about earlier. Mm -hmm, earlier in the week when um, I said we should just get over the fact that, yeah, African players, you know, were the majority in the team. Mm -hmm. And the fact that France won the World Cup. We yeah. should just, you know, go on with our lives. And yes, 
Now this pops up. What do you think about it? Well, Trevor is in his rights to say whatever he wants. I just think, I, I mean, I'm thinking, do you not have anything else to do with your time in mm -hmm. office than to write a letter to Trevor? I mean, I, well, he's no, it was, absolutely correct in what well, he said. Like, you know, the think. whole thing was going around, like, you know, Africans won the World Cup, yeah. that France did it for Africa. Yeah, Because the so fact what? that no, <laughs> no African team made it past the group stages, which is yeah. sad. But yeah, you know, like our brothers home were like saying, yeah, France did it for Africa. And even on like in um, on social media, you see videos where they were dancing shaku shaku mm -hmm. and the rest. So, mm -hmm. you know, we felt this connection with the French team and Nigerians were like a lot happier, you know, that yeah, they're representing Africa and yeah, they're representing Nigerians, all that kind of stuff. And now this happens. And Trevor even made a comment, I watched his show, like um, a clip yesterday and okay. where he was saying, that you know, um, when um, an African does something good, mm -hmm. they claim that he's French. When he does something bad, exactly. they mean like an African migrant. Exactly. Like the, um, the other That's story the about fact. the Mali, uh, Malian guy that um, mm -hmm. climbed how many stories to go save a kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That and they gave him what did they give him? Some um, a French pass um, <laughs> passport, national. Like exactly. he was not a national. Like so, it's like you do something good, they claim you do something bad, it goes back to Africa. So I don't know, but well, I guess let's just move on from the fact that Africans won the World Cup for France. And so now you agree with that statement? No, I'm you just saying let's move on. Let's <laughs> let's move on from that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. let's just move, just move on. on it's past, like close to a week old now. So the World Cup is in the past. Oh, we're Africans. Yeah, maybe we next World celebrate. Cup we'll get to win it. Maybe Nigeria, maybe Senegal, mm. any African team. Then we can now claim that Africa won the World Cup officially. We, uh, well, I will claim forever Africa won the World Cup officially. <laughs> What's all the okay. news trending? So other stories to check out on social media. When the Williams launches the Be Here campaign to help combat drug addiction and substance abuse in communities. R&B singer Faith Evans marries love and basketball star Stevie J in private Las Vegas wedding. Hollywood actor Kenneth Okonkwo has kicked the political ball rolling in Enugu State in a bid to become its next governor. Hey, I love mm. that story. Okay, what's with that look, Ikenna? Nah, nothing. <laughs> you said you love it, so tell me why you love it. Why not? I mean, if you can use your um, influence to become a politician, mm -hmm. or your celebrity status to become a politician, why okay. not? I, I mean, I think it's a great thing for him to be in politics. Well, you always have to plan your time. I mean, what True. are you going to do with your, your fame? Um, okay, he's getting okay. older. I mean... Maybe he like this is the next level, right? Exactly. Okay, so and I remember say, when RMD did that and Yeah, he, for Delta yeah, State. So and I now mean, he's back in the movies. So now would you say maybe later on your career you would um, quit TV for politics? Yeah. Maybe, why, why, maybe hey, you could become not? the first um, president of Nigeria. I yeah, don't know how possible not? that is. But <laughs> you can what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how possible that's like, you know, we have in the first, you know, a female leader. It could happen one oh, day. Of course it's going to happen. Yes, not it's going to happen. happen. I just hope um, happen. we are, you know, here well to actually witness that. Well, politics is not my <laughs> thing, but if it were, I will You'll do give it. give it a go. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then Faith Evers and Stevie J, yeah, you know, getting married, you know, privately without, yeah. uh, you know, all the paparazzi and all that mm. fun the place. I, I think it's cool. And yeah, since uh, Biggie passed, if I may say Biggie, yeah. So I think, yeah, this is cool for her. I'm happy for her. Yeah, I'm being me honest. too. Me then too. when the Williams, on the other hand, you know, launching the Be Here campaign, I think and she um, herself, you know, having battled um, drug addiction, mm. cocaine, when she was like a radio host. Yeah, so this is actually a good one that she's actually, you know, spearheading a campaign to help people out there, you know, you know, at least. Do you think like she's completely clean right now? I mean, mm, what well, do you think about that? Do you remember that one thing that happened to her that during she her show? That she collapsed on stage. I'm, I'm like, how could fatigue really do that to Well, you? she blamed on a costume, so nobody... Yeah, she like the no. costume was, um, you know, like, you know, I think it was hot or something, oh, okay. but the costume had to do something, mm. like, you know, had a hand in the whole thing. So you can't say, so I didn't, I wasn't the one, <laughs> I was the one wearing the Statue of Liberty. So, yeah, I don't know what happened, but, yeah, I think she's, even if she's not totally clean, she should yeah. be close to, you know, 100%. Wendy's not my favorite person, but whatever, Yeah, I can, I can so. sense that, I can, I can sense that. But, hey, she's full of life. I know she has her own I love her shows, they're, they're hilarious, but yeah. I don't think the way she gets on at people, it's just like, it feels so... <laughs> okay, so you don't like the way she goes about no, with her no, stuff, interviews just, and all that. It's just... Well, much. you know, you can't be the same with the next host. So she has her own audience, and I think they enjoy her the way she they is. They love it. Yeah, they love, they they love, love her. It. So, you know, like, yeah, she's doing good for herself. And I don't know, if you don't like her, other people like her, I guess. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> All right, what's our photo of the day? Okay, so on our photo of the day today, although it's not a Thursday, it's a throwback picture of Miley Cyrus and, fr and oh, fiancé Liam Hemsworth that. having a chill time. Yeah, you know, so since it's the weekend, I just thought I, you know, use this picture. 
just to remind us that we can go to the beach tomorrow and just relax and have a good, good Saturday. Where, how yeah. old was... Um, this was like when they started, like in when they were like fresh. He was like 10 years old there. So young. Yeah, he looks so picture. young, right? No, this was before he went to the gym, you know, all buffed up. See, Liam wasn't all superhero. looking like tall before. <laughs> yes. Trust me, like, yeah, for the movie, we had to, you know, go to, go to the gym. And now he looks like, you know, everybody's sweetheart. So I think even myself, I have um, hope of faith that I could look like Liam. <laughs> You know, I just go to the gym and just, you know, push some, you know, bars and yeah, maybe I could become the next door. Well, hopefully you'll be able to keep the ladies off and not get into trouble. Yeah, maybe like then you. I'll be married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's always such a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, Thank same. you so much. That was so much fun. That's all we have for from our entertainment co correspondent, Ikena Kingsley. Time now for a short break on The Morning Show. When we return, we'll have a special packet from President Emmanuel Macron's visit to the new Africa Shine, and the host of the evening, Banky W, will be joining us, so stay tuned. <laughs> 